Yes, yes. So I have a brief which is Culture, Leisure, Sport and 2012. And what we are, are concerned with is the direction of the different departments that come under that heading. So that will be our culture department, our leisure facilities, our community games, which we have ourselves, which we run um, on a much reduced budget, I may say, our events, which are uh, quite high profile, I think, uh, uh, much more than firework displays. Um, and uh, we do still grant aid uh, through uh, the council, uh, some arts organisations, and of course responsibility for libraries, which has been something that we've put a great deal of thought into, and as Councillor John has just said, we have retained our libraries, and I will go on to say how I believe that the libraries themselves are important in terms of our culture and arts in Southwark. 2012, uh, when we came into administration last year, we made a very clear decision that we wanted to have uh, direction for 2012 and what Southwark was going to actually do as a borough and how Southwark was going to lead initiatives around making the best that we can of this once in a, well, several lifetimes I should think, opportunity. Um, and we, I will be talking a bit about the programme that we have put in place to do this. Uh, thank you very much indeed for inviting me to speak, because this is important, as we've said, a very important <coughs> conference. We do see the arts and culture as being absolutely fundamental to Southwark, um, and also the economic, uh, 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 the, the economic basis of arts as well, I have to say. And we have had very difficult financial times, as uh, the leader has explained. And no department, I'm afraid, has been immune from cuts. Um, because we've kept our libraries, it hasn't mean to say that we haven't had to cut within that service. Um, uh, but I would like to quote the chair of the Arts Council. I've been asked to say a little bit about the Arts Council um, and the strategic framework for achieving great art for everyone, which perhaps everybody here is more familiar with than I am, because I'm not actually in the arts world in that sense, um, that people sometimes question the role of public funding. And she also has said, um, seeing it as an add-on, nice to have, I would fiercely argue that the arts and culture are absolutely central to the life of the nation. And at times of difficulty, they are even more important. And goes on to say also about their definitions of excellence um, in relation to public funding. Excellence as the bravest, most original, most perfectly realised work of which people are capable, but that also it is art for everyone. I think that's quite, quite a tension in there, in, in a sense. And the Arts Council is very important for Southwark. Um, the national... Um, uh, portfolio organisations attract about £5 million a year into Southwark and into those projects and there is also funding for local projects. Um, and we now, are, we now have the Arts Council also supporting libraries and museums, so this is quite significant in a wider sense for the Council because they have in the bonfire of Quangos the Museum and Libraries Association has gone and the Arts Council have taken this dimension on, which I think is probably, given the way they think about the arts and culture and their framework, is, is, is quite positive. Um, uh, and they, they do see England, England, I sometimes wonder, you know, could, could look at that as well, England as a world leading creative and cultural nation and within England I think we can say Southwark is the part of London, is the forefront of that creation and culture I think, showcasing outstanding culture, heritage and art with institutions of global importance situated in this borough which we have heard about. Um, and I think it is a place of inspiration uh, for young artists and it's certainly a, a place of inspiration for our residents and particularly as I think we've, we've said briefly for young people which is so important. I have been asked 
to say a little bit about the funding coming from the Arts Council. I don't think we have a slide, do we? Which it's on a it's on a handout. That right. Okay. Handout. I'll go through it very briefly because I think sometimes it's a bit difficult to absorb when you have the information. Um, but they are they do now have their fun program of funding from 2012 to 2015, which is three strands, targeted funding programs, which I believe are for the national portfolio organisations, grant commissions, um, which is uh, uh, focus funds uh, around something called audience. I think perhaps if you can explain a bit more about that in a minute, that might be helpful because I don't have that creative peoples and places program, a general strategic grant program. I mean, I'm hoping that these are the sort of programs that organisations represented here will be able to tap into. Um, experimental digital arts media service and commissioning program. Um, 2.5 million available for arts organisations to deliver this scheme. There will also be carrying over the grants that were available to develop our, our concepts of libraries into the future and museums. Um, and they do, the Arts Council do see libraries as having, having a, a leading role in, um, in culture. Uh, um, ex sorry, I'm going to have to extending culture, uh, the cultural base of libraries and also engaging with that and with lifelong learning. So this is, this is something that we will obviously keep a very close eye on. For some, just a reminder of themes which I came up last year which we, we keep as our kind of basis, culture for all, culture and regeneration supporting creative industries, making the most of our heritage, which quite a lot of it is in, in our own, um, you know, we are the caretakers of that, um, sustaining investment in the arts, and of course making the most of 2012, the biggest arts festival yet, and a momentous event for London and Southwark. And we are looking for lasting legacies from next year. Yes, it will be a momentous year, but we want to work in such a way that we don't lose the uh, advantages and the opportunities that come our way. Um, and Southwark Council itself um, is part of the culture scene in Southwark. We do have a culture department which generates a lot of activities um, we have a key role in things like the 2012 Dickens tra Trail, masterminding our own 2012 culture uh, diary, which Andy will talk about further, Black History Month, events which showcase local art and culture from different cultures, and the advice and support which our own department gives. Um, and we have our libraries. Uh, we've seen how important the Arts Council sees them as being. And we know they are important to residents, but thousands of residents fed into our consultation. Um, and they're very well used. Lots of books are borrowed, bucking national trends. Um, and we know that they are very important places for young people to study and to gain information. And this is our Canada Water Library, which the leader mentioned, which is due to open a week on Monday. We'll have a big kind of formal opening next year, but it will actually be open for business from next Monday. And we will have performance space, exhibition space. We, we do have a meeting rooms, um, and we hope that uh, you will take up and investigate the opportunities there might be to use this space. We already have some events. I think the Bubble Theatre is going to be putting on the first uh, performance in the Canada Water uh, performance space. So to the 2012 and the Olympics, actually it's <coughs> difficult to know where to begin. The more you, you go, you know, the more you go into it, the more there is and the more there seems to be happening, which is quite boggling. <coughs> so I'll just explain how we got to these, uh, these kind of headings and I will very briefly uh, go through them. We 
see this as a wonderful festival opportunity. For the cultural festival, we want to see visitors coming to Southwark and going beyond the South Bank, coming down into the rest of Southwark and seeing what else there is, the art, the art, uh, big and small, um, from uh, the South London Gallery to very small art projects, to Peckham Library, down to Dulwich, um, the 1948 velodrome that we have down there from the 1948 Olympics, for example. We also want, as a legacy, to ensure that people who live in Southwark are able to take the maximum opportunities for the art and culture that will be available during the time of 2012, but also hope to keep up that momentum in terms of accessibility afterwards. We are looking for legacy, particularly developing <coughs> volunteering, and we've talked about volunteering already. Um, and we have a legacy fund of capital projects for sports facilities. We have the torch relay coming through Southwark the day before the opening ceremony. That feels very good. We are going to have street dressing. We've been given what we think are a little bit paltry sums from the Greater London Authority to dress the front. And the council is responsible for putting all the flagging and, and coordinating everything up on the South Bank and also the rest of the uh, rest of the borough, and we're trying to maximise as much as possible £50,000 for the rest of the borough with flags and free plants and things like that using the Olympic colours. We do have the accessibility work going on on the South Bank, which is about making the South Bank um, accessible for people with disabilities because the Paralympics is very, very important in Southwark. Um, we have the house of Switzerland, which is going to be at Glaciers Hall, and they're going to, it's going to be public. Some of the houses of the nations are not sort of open to the public, but the House of Switzerland will be, be in Glaciers Hall, and we'll also have things happening outside on the, you know, behind the cathedral. Swiss things happening there, and they're very keen to make links. So I, I think this may be some kind of opportunity to make links that you can with them. So in order to coordinate what we wanted to do, we have an Olympic delivery board uh, chaired by an Olympic cyclist, uh, Tony Doyle, and Bridget is on that board so that she can coordinate what we're doing. And we have five work streams which we uh, report into, and that's where the huge amount of work comes in, but it's work that is done in coordination with many, many people in this borough, including many of yourselves. We have a health challenge. It's very important that we emphasise the importance of sport, the importance of health. Um, we've had a, a, a project already where 13 people have done all kinds of activities, improved their health, and are going on to mentor people. We are very keen that volunteering is central, um, and we have set up websites that people can volunteer through, and I think there's a lot of that activity happening already. Twelve volunteer profiles to promote volunteering, and that we want to be a permanent legacy where as many people as possible can feel they can get involved and continue to be involved in volunteering in the borough. The Southwark Experience, which is chaired by Donald Hislop from the Tate Modern, we're promoting the festival key events, promoting our hidden gems that we have in Southwark, as I mentioned before, our heritage in Southwark. The Globe Theatre has the Shakespeare in 38 different languages. Our boundless, um, boundless project, big dance, um, and young people. There is such a bewildering list. I wrote it all out, but maybe I won't read it all out because it's very, very long and it's I just see, a song. Right, he I'm might well. Yes, no, he will. Two final points. Well, and also our role is I have to say, we do have to do all the kind of what you suppose might be the boring but essential bits about the infrastructure and traffic and roads and crowds and all that kind of thing as well. Two final points. 2012 is about the world and we won the bid because London can represent the world and Southwark has residents from all over the world. Are we, all of us, exploring all the potential that we have 
in those all those cultures for art and cultural development. Let's just leave you with the question. And finally, yes, Harriet Harman um, is now the shadow spokesperson for um, culture, media, and sport. And she wants to, and she's member of Parliament for Camberwell and Peckham. And she wants to take Southwark, particularly of course her constituency, but the Southwark scene as being something that she can learn quickly about and use as, uh, as for her, uh, um, so that she can gain information and experience about what we do here. Um, so do get in touch with her, it's quite important. Please get in touch with her and invite her to things. Thank you.